I want to show you how you can have the same image repeating throughout the page of your website. Maybe you're trying to showcase a particular branded style and you don't want to be duplicating the images every single container or section. What we have over here are three containers and each of these containers, they're all dummy data right with text. They all have uh, the same image duplicating. But what if I want that image to continuously be visible? Now here's the method that some people kind of overuse a little bit. If I go over to my container at the minute, this is just set as a normal background image. I'm gonna go in and say, make this be a fixed. And if I now do the same over here as well, and I'll do it to the third one, you can probably see what's happening here. Now what we get is this continuous scrolling effect like that. Um, by the way, though, when you do look at it on a mobile, sometimes you've got to be careful over how it looks because it might not actually look like that. But what I'm trying to get across is that, so on the mobile, it does not look as good as what you need it to be. So please bear that in mind. But on the desktop, you can get away with it. However, you don't need to do this. What you really should be doing is remove all the images use the background to add in a bit of overlay or grade into anything like that. And instead, add the image as a page background. Now, one thing to bear in mind though, what I'm gonna show you will duplicate across every page of your website. So think very hard about, do you definitely wanna do this? But let me show you what we do. Let me just get rid of all of these images. The images are completely removed. The text is still there because it's white text, but on some of them, I have given them a slightly transparent background color just because we're gonna add in a little bit of variation. What we then do is go, just make sure you hit update if you're messing around with your page. You wanna go into your site settings. So hit the hamburger in the top left, go over to site settings, and down here you'll see background. This is where you can now apply a standard color. So if I was to go like that, throughout the website, that color is now, and you can see here, look, it still filters through underneath the transparency colors I've added there. There we go. But I'm not gonna have a color. Instead, I'm gonna go in and add in my image. So we're gonna go back for this image over here. Uh, we're gonna say it's a fixed. Uh, I'm gonna position it in bottom left, no repeat cover, right? kind of standard as to what you normally would do. You will notice though that look, even if I was to now switch over to mobile, you can actually add a mobile image as well. So this can be really, really good. Now I'm gonna add in an image. This is not the best quality image, but it's a copy of the image. And this time it's been made to be 1000 taller. I would probably say go and add one that's a little bit taller than that, depending on how big or how many sections or containers you're gonna have on your screen. But look, on the mobile, you can now actually see we have that continuous image going on there. Just to let you know, in case you were wondering, well, how do I do the mobile as well? But we flick back over to the desktop. We've picked our image, okay, we hit update. If we now just view this page, we now have a continuous image. And look, we have a bit of a gradiency going on there with uh, because I've applied some variation there in the background transparency. But that is a really simple, easy way to do it. Because what you don't want to do is keep repeating an image or adding in an image and because you want it to always be in the background. Um, this does not really affect page speed hardly at all. It might knock off a percent, but that is about it. But it is a really good way. If you've got a standard branded background, you might have some curly, I don't know, curly fancy pattern or something going on on your screen. You can now apply this and it will now repeat. But remember, it will repeat throughout your website. But if that's a problem for you, you can easily get around that as well. Because look, right now we have a, I mean, look, let me just show you here. Okay, I've got a bit of text. I could go in and go, right, we're going to give this a uh, background color of, I'm just going to go for, uh, let's just go with that, okay? Just so you can still see the text, do your padding, whatever. I could even go over to the container. And even though this is um, got a background image, I could say, right, no, we're gonna make all of it white. But you're not losing, the image is still there in the background. So if you find that like maybe you got a WooCommerce page and you don't want it on your shop, well, you would just go in and make your cart, your checkout pages be a full on white or another color. Hey, I hope that helps you out with putting in a image to go across your website for consistency. I'm Imran Web Squad and I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, live the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win at life.
I never miss that stack. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bag. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing.